Hi guys and welcome back to Mobile DJ Tips. Um, today not so much more for mobile DJs, however I'm creating another video uh, exactly for this to show you how to create some, uh, some great marketing tips and tools uh, and what I use. But this one's for guys who have photo booths. Um, just showing you how to create very simple, quick and easy photo booth templates. Uh, excuse the video quality, it's the first time I've ever done a um, a screen grab or screen recording on my computer uh, so uh, but take a look and let me know what you think uh, add a comment below uh, hit subscribe if you want to but if you're looking for marketing tips for uh, DJ stuff or for your Facebook page website etc have a look at my other video that I'll be posting today Hi all, right, so this is my first attempt at a screen grab type thingy, uh, so I hope it works okay for you. Excuse any sound uh, as well, uh, but what I want to show you is um, for uh, creating your own photo booth templates and magic mirror templates, um, I use Canva com which is an online subscription um, I don't know how to use Photoshop I've never tried it never tested it uh, but I want to show you uh, myself very very quick and simple ways of creating your own photo booth templates uh, very simple very quick and very easy now the first thing you need to do uh, is you know, you've, you've got lots of templates here um, on uh, Canva itself um, so you can create a design and it will show you lots of different templates on here. So you've got A4 documents. Uh, handy as well if you're, for your own Instagram posts, Facebook covers, Facebook apps, any advertising. I've created leaflets and I've created booklets in here uh, and everything else. But the best thing you need to do is do not use any of these for um, photo booth templates. So you need to find out uh, the pixel size of a standard four by six print. So uh, what we need to do is go to Google. So let's pop to Google. And we go to Google and we ask pixel size of four by six. Oh yeah, so there it is. So four by six is, is standard. So four by six here, uh, as you can see in pixels, is 540 by 360. Now this is going to be the landscape version for photo booths. And if you want to do it for Magic Mirror, just reverse it so it'll be 360 by 540. So let's pop back to Canva. And what we need to do in Canva is up in the top right hand corner here is hit the custom dimensions. So let's put that in. And so we want the width at, if you remember it was 540 by 360 in pixels and create a new design. And then Canva will just pop up a nice big empty blank template for our photo booth. Now, on some photo booth software, you can just now create um, an overlay, uh, which will be a PNG file, uh, and then you can choose any sort of custom colors uh, in your photo booth software for that, or you can just do the same here. So if I want my background color to be blue, hey presto, very simple, and I can just call that, click on that at the top right corner and call that background. And then hit the arrow, we want that as a JPEG and download. And then your blue background is downloaded. You can choose a multiple of colors. Uh, if you don't want the blue, if you want something a bit different, if you want goldy sparkles. Uh, so let's go to uh, elements here and search. And I want gold background. Let's hit that and hit search. And there we are, a nice sparkly gold background. Just stretch that up stretch it to size and we have a lovely gold background there if you don't want that one just hit delete and we'll try this nice sparkly gold one here again some of these are free if you want something a little bit more um, exclusive you can pay for things like this which are about a dollar a time it's about 70 pence really really good you got a nice gold background here so lots of different choices on your background but what we want to do is create this overlay for you so I'm going to put that back to clear. And uh, what we want to do is we want to search in the elements here. So, so let's look for a, a nice frame. Uh, if you want to keep it white and plain, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background here. We'll do this one first of all to black. 
and then I'm going to put uh, an element in here and I want just to get a, a circle and I find a nice plain circle that one's perfect shrink that down and one important thing is here is to make sure you find it in the middle and these guiding lines will show you as you can see I've got a perfect cross now so the center of my circle is bang in the middle okay I want to do that if I'm having a nice plain white background I'm going to change that to white okay so now I want to just pop some text in so click on text here on the left hand side and you can see lots of templates already made with lots of lovely text in but what you can do is hit add a heading and just pop your own in now I want to change the color of that text to black or any color that you want to and now I want to change the writing on that so I'm going to put Mr. and Mrs. Space Smith now control and A to highlight all or just use your mouse and I want to shrink that font down to about size 21 there you go that fits a bit nicer in the middle there and again just drag it to you know you're exactly center using these lovely pink guidelines and I'm going to highlight the text again because I'm not too keen on that plain boring text and as you can see just click on the font buttons here and it'll show you an absolute multiple of fonts on the left hand side now you can upload your own fonts if you want to um, I'm going to use is one of my uh, favorites uh, which is I think it's called click and script which is just down here click a script there we are lovely mr and mrs smith okay so that is our overlay complete so once you have a white background all depending if you have a photo here a photo here a photo here a photo here it's going to leave a lovely big white tube with this white overlay in the middle so what i'm going to do now is call this overlay and i want to download it well i want to download i do want to download a png absolutely 100 percent but i want to make the background transparent so all it's going to leave us is this so i'm going to download that now so my overlay png is now downloading okay so continue editing this please that's fine but i'm going to close that down now and once that's downloaded it should be popping up on my screen in just a second um it will show me that overlay now i simply just save that overlay which is just here there we are and then import that into my photo booth software and this overlay here of mr and mrs smith i mean you can, obviously you can write any sort of templates in there that is ready to go and that will just overlay on the top of your four photos with a white background uh, as standard on there but again you can choose any color background that you want but it will make this circle here stand out um, but at the moment that will just pop over on the top of the overlay what i'm going to do now is I'm going to completely clear this and do a whole different overlay. So let's make that white. So now I've, I've got a nice plain overlay again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit different um, on this overlay and I'm going to find, search, click on elements and I'm going to search for, I don't know, they, they maybe they want flowers, um, things like that. So I'm going to do uh, a flower frame search so let's find ourselves a nice little floral frame and having a look down here so you've got lots and lots of things to choose from so you can have these lovely little wraps that you can put on there find out the size of your photos and have something like these as a nice little border around each photo and that will just overlay all the photos but I don't want that for now I want something I can write in there's uh, one here Here's one here. So you see with the white inserts, that means I can write inside these. I can put any script in there. So I'm going to use this square one for now. So I've used this before on a few photo booths. And I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. And again, using my pink guidelines, I'm in the middle. Hurrah. Perfect. So now I want to put some text in. Uh, so I'm going to add a heading. And this one I'm going to call Mr. and Mrs. Miss Lewis and I'm going to put the date in as well but I'm going to do that afterwards I'm going to do this Mr. And Mrs. Lewis first and I'm going to shrink that down to size 18 maybe a little bit smaller 16 
So I'm going to fit a date in, so I'm going to put that a little bit towards the top. So you see with this pink uh, guideline, I'm still in the middle of the page, but I'm not bang center. I'm just going to change this script here again, something nice. Uh, let's do click a script again. There you go, beautiful. But now I want to add the date in, so I'm going to add a subheading. It's just over here on the left hand side. And I need to just drag that down below. And I'm going to put their wedding date in. So let's say it's um, this date, add a subheading, let's put the 23rd of March 2019. Highlight it all. And I want to take the size down a bit, maybe to 14 for this one, maybe a little bit smaller, uh, 12. There we go, that fits nicely. Scroll it down so it fits into that little area, and I'm going to make that exactly the same script as that one. And there you go, hey presto, that fits in perfectly. So now we have a wonderful overlay, which will cover, you see, if you have four photos there, one, two, three, four, this is going to be their lovely overlay. And I'm going to change the overlay so I know this is Mr. Mrs. Lewis. Uh, you can change it wherever you want and out click and I'm ready to download my PNG and I do want to make the tra background transparent. So all this does is this is my overlay. This pops over the top of the photos and download. Quick and simple as that. Really, really simple. So this one again is for photo boosts. Uh, Magic Mirror a little bit different as um, we need to create a background for that. So I'm going to go to my home page and you see down there Mr. and Mrs. Lewis has now downloaded and I'm ready to upload that into my photo booth software. Uh, so back here again, uh, this time I want to do one for a magic mirror, which is going to be, of course, um, portrait mode. So this time I want the width to be 360 and the height to be 540. Let's create that design. And hey presto, up it pops is a nice portrait mode, 4x6 print. So again, there's lots of templates here, but I don't want to do that. But in this instance, I want to choose a nice background. Tons of backgrounds to choose from there, or you can just search for your own. Oh, let's have a nice watery effect. There we go. They love swimming. That's cool. That's brilliant. But what I want to do now, again, simply adding text. One thing I didn't show you earlier was um, uh, about adding your uh, company logo if you wanted to. So this one, I'm going to put Amanda's 40th. I don't know any Amanda. I'm going to drag that to the bottom because usually standard Magic Mirror Photo is up here a little bit. So we need to have this uh, around about or down the bottom. We can have it wherever you want to. I'm going to turn that script down to about 24, size 24 font. There you go, Amanda's 40th. I'm going to change that font to, I'm going to make it bold, change it white. There you go, it, it sits in there nicely. But this time I'm going to add my logo in there. Looking at it, it's, it's probably not the best colour to have on that background, so I'm going to change it to nice grey, so no, still not great. But what I can do here is I can add an element. All I want to do is just add a shape in there. Look at all my shapes. Oh, you've got hearts in there, all sorts of everything. So I'm going to choose this little square. And take it down. Now this isn't perfect, but it's just a quick way of showing you how I can put that in there. So Amanda's 40th is now inside this little box. Although I put the font white, haven't I? No, it's backwards. So uh, there you go. And now I'm going to put my logo in. So you upload here, so you can upload anything, any company logos, any corporate logos. Please make sure they are PNG files. And this, for this instance, I'm going to use one of mine. So red events. Take that down to a nice small, discrete logo. I can put that at the top, put that at the bottom, put it anywhere I want to really. I don't think using this uh, swimming background is the best way forward. So I'm going to use a nice plain one for now. And there we are. So Amanda's 40th and Red Events. Our photo booth, uh, I'm sorry, our Magic Mirror background is ready to go. Uh, so Amanda's 40th has already changed it there. Uh, so I'm going to save this. Uh, this time you want to save it as a JPEG for Magic Mirrors and download. And it's ready to go. All done. Again, so quick, so simple. 
and doesn't cost you a fortune getting upgrades um, or, or buying templates off people but you can you can play around with these templates so I'm going to get rid of this I'm just going to sort of show you what Canva has to offer so let's delete that delete my logo and let's have a look at some backgrounds here so you've got tons and tons to choose from loads of different backgrounds I've used similar to this before but again you can just hit a search on background some things are going to cost you money um, so let's click elements and I what sort of background do you want? We want a nice rose background. And we have a nice floral background just here, completely free. And there you go. That's that. All done. Beautiful. And then you can just type your text over there. Let's add some text. Jay's birthday. Drag that down to the bottom. And we have a nice again, that's done in seconds, literally done in seconds. So so simple. Um and that's how you create on Canva. Uh so I'm just gonna shut that down now, just show you some other bits on here again, so you can create some presentations, you can create great photos. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of my designs that I've created here. It's a, it's a monthly subscription to Canva and uh let's say I've, I've done some leaflets there some facebook advertising some uh, banners for my companies and some facebook pages i have um just some bits here that i've done for all bits you know digital networks that was the that was a banner that i created to go outside of a school um and it's just a great bit of software it's it's very very cheap to have on a subscription and it just add those nice final finishing touches you know things like that for or your Fub with a Magic Mirror uh, templates. Okay, thanks for watching. So, very simple, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. I'm, of course, nowhere being endorsed by Canva for this video. I'm just showing you hints and tips of how um, to make photo booth templates. And, uh, and again, if you're watching, um, please leave a comment below. Let me know how you get on or any thoughts or questions or tips on how to create other things and other designs. Um, hit subscribe. Always keep uh, watching back for any videos I've got. Hit the little bell uh, as well and you'll be notified every time I post up another video. But thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, please take a look at any other videos on my channel. There's loads to come.